anyway, that's a run it now. So uh, if you want, you know, tell a bit about um, who you are and what you've done. And... Well, I'm Randall Eller, and I uh, grew up right, right here. We're, we're just about two and a half miles up the road from where I live now. And uh, I've always done carpenter work and wood carving, and, uh, and I met Albert Hash in about 1980. I was doing some wood carving and uh, met him at a festival at Hungry Mother State Park. And he had, a, he had a fiddle up there that you could take the top off of and see the inside of it and everything, and I was just fascinated with it. And, uh, and I just kept aggravating him going back and looking at, looking at it, and he finally said, I said, well, if you can carve like that, he said, you can, you can make a fiddle if you, if you just, if you wanted to, you know. I said, Lord, I never get one of them things made like that. He said, yeah. He said, just come over to the house sometime. And he said, I'll get you started and make one. And that was in July. And it was about the first week of October. Uh, and then the brothers were, were going to camping over on Mount Rogers and the hunt. And uh, then one morning we got up and it was raining. So I told my older brother, I said, let's go down, there. Let's go down to Abra Hash and see him. He said, well, we can't go down there. He said, he, he, he just been friendly. He wasn't, he wasn't the minimum for us to come down there. I said, well, you know, if, he, if it turned out that way, we'll just leave, you know. I said, well, I'd like to go down there and try that. That's, so we, we drove off a mountain down there to his house and uh, walked up there on the porch and knocked on the door and his wife come to the door. And she just opened the door and said, come on in, he's downstairs, just like she was expecting us to come, you know. So, so we chomped through the house there and went down to the basement and his, Albert and, and Audrey both was down there working. And uh, so he, he, I ended up with giving me a piece of wood and the, that piece right there, that's the first one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, he sent that piece home with me and a pattern for it and a top. And he said, just carve that thing, and uh, he said, bring it back. And he said, I'll give you another one. And I did that from till about, I was up in December probably, making a piece of it at a time. And then it got come down to the bend of the sides, and he, he said, just uh, next time you come, we'll just bend the sides over here. So we did. I, I stayed there that time, and uh, he had me bend the sides. And, uh, Showed me about putting it together and you know and all that stuff and finally got it, finally got it together. It sounded terrible and looked terrible <laughs> too, but it it, it, it looks kind of like a fiddle from a distance. <laughs> so, that was the start of it, and and I haven't been making them not a whole lot ever since. I've raised three kids in the time, you know, but uh, I've made about 50 fiddles and about 20 mandolins and a, uh, a few guitars, but not many. Just enough for the kids, grandchildren. Right. And that's it. So we here we are today. What What are the most important things to make a good fiddle that you have to think about? Well, the the wood is for sure. You know, the wood, and uh, probably the being uh, you, you just. You just you gotta get used to what it's supposed to sound like from you know uh, what they call everybody calls a peck tuning or something, but uh, you just gotta it's just gotta kind of get get used to that part of it, you know. It, just, yeah. it takes a while to to learn that. But. Well, how, how did you come to make this particular fiddle? Well, this is for the Crooked Road. Uh, that they're gonna give it away to a or sell it or something for a national bus tour and uh, they commissioned me to make one and uh, can you show us that up close so what are the woods in that well this is the red maple all those red maple with the top and it, it was cut. It was cut locally. Probably uh, it's around Abingdon. That's where it was cut. And a buddy of mine's got a band mill, and he we saw this thing up. It was 50, 54 inches through the maple. We had to take a chainsaw and split it both ways to get it on his saw. 
and I've been making fiddles out of it for years. And uh, all of, all of the fiddle is, is is maple. That's hard maple, red maple. And the top, this top is from uh, over white top. It's spread spruce, red spruce, uh, yeah. Appalachian spruce, what they call it. Off the second highest mountain in Virginia. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, that red spruce grows along the Appalachian Mountains from probably, I don't know how far south, North Carolina anyway, maybe Georgia. Yeah. All the way to Maine, or probably Canada. But it's a, it's a really good wood. 